Hello everyone, today we are doing our Vada installation for Minecraft 1.3.2. It is the Balkans Weapons mod. Yeah, so it adds uh, some, I guess, some really sweet weapons. So, yeah. I'll have all the links in the description. Just go check them out. So, it says you need Mod Loader and Minecraft Forge. And of course, the Balkans Weapons mod. So, as I'm downloading this one and downloading Forge. Don't get Mod Loader. I've said it like a hundred times on my other videos. If you guys have seen them, Mod Loader does not work with Forge. It will break your Forge. It'll break Minecraft. It, yeah, it's not good. They just do not work together. So please do not install Minecraft or Mod Loader with Forge. All right. So you have these two. Now you're done. You don't need the internet anymore. So yeah. <clears throat> Actually, we are gonna really quick install too many items because that is a really helpful mod. I like it. I'll have the link in the description. It's really simple to install too, and I it pretty much makes it like creative mode on survival mode. It, uh, you can switch between creative and survival. It's pretty fun. It gives you all like everything you need. So as we're downloading that, drag that out. Uh, yeah. So here we go. You go to your finder library application support Minecraft and then bin. Now you take this Minecraft.jar, open with Archive Utility or the Unarchiver. The on archive you can get in the app store and it's free. So yeah, so you take your old Minecraft.jar and delete it. Now your new one, enter over and add a dot jar. Enter. Should say oh and you add it. So now you go into your Minecraft.jar and you'll get all these classes. Like A A A class. Alright, so right click, arrange by kind, delete this meta and in full letters. It is it'll give your Minecraft a black screen and it won't work. Alright, so the first mod you need to install is Minecraft Forge. Minecraft Forge is very simple. Highlight everything in there, copy it, and then put it into your Minecraft.jar. Apply to all and replace. Now you are done with Minecraft Forge. Just to prove it, you go into your Minecraft folder, you go open up Minecraft, log in, and it should have this. This weird thing. And then your Minecraft should be working fine. It says two mods loaded, two mods active. Mine mod loader. Forge mod loader. That's why you do not need the other mod loader it will ruin minecraft alright so as this is done you open up your too many items highlight everything in there this is just if you want it you don't have to install it copy all 22 and paste in your minecraft.jar and then replace now your too many items should be working you can always check it on the forge because they'll always say three mods active or two mods active or however many three mods active too many items so there you go and then you can just get out of that and now for the weapons mod it's pretty simple it says files for mods folder alright so you go back into your minecraft folder and after you have installed the forge and booted up minecraft it should have it should create this this mods folder if you don't have it just right click new folder and name it mods uh, it should be fine now you go into your mods folder open up this copy both of them and paste it into your mods folder in your minecraft and there you go the mod should be working 
So you can run up Minecraft, you can delete all those, or you can put them in a folder, whatever you want. It's always nice to have a backup right here in case it doesn't work. So as you can see, four mods loaded and four mods active. Balkans weapons mod. So now to, I'll just show you guys some of the weapons that are in here. We'll just call it weapons world. So we'll do survival and we will create a world. And I, I it says it adds like throwable knives or something. Throwable TNT? I don't know. Something like that. Alright, so we have spawned in the jungle. And if you hit E in your inventory, this should be up here. And this is the too many items. And it has, you can turn creative mode on. And you can double space to fly and you can fly around your map. And then double space, you can turn it off. You can change it to raining. Or you can turn off raining and it'll stop shortly after and then you can turn it to whatever difficulty and night morning whatever so now for the weapons mod all you get all of these mods right here this iron battle axe a hammer uh... what oh my god this it adds a lot of stuff. Musket, musket round, musket with bayonet, blunderbuss, blunderbuss, blunderbuss barrel, gun stock, and it has everything. Cannonball, cannon, fire rod, dynamite, poisonous dart, blowgun, musket, and javelin, and even a flail. Alright. So, we are going to turn it to nighttime. So then we could face some zombies or mobs. Is my brightness on uh, moody? There we go. Full brightness so you guys can see what's going on. What is it on? Sunset, right? We'll do it on just pitch blackout. And wait. Yeah, that kind of hurt. So, we are looking for some mobs. Alright, so here we go. We will test out these new items of ours. So, first up, it is the. Nope. We're going to use the musket. Actually, I don't. Actually, we're going to use the diamond battle axe. That's what we're going to use. Oh, it actually cuts sand pretty fast. So, let's see how. Hurtful this is. Okay. So two hits for a skeleton, two hits for a zombie. Alright, not not bad, not bad damage. So now we move on to the Warhammer. Diamond Warhammer. Remember this is diamond. And this cuts a lot faster. One hit and two. Three hits, so this might be actually for mining. We'll see if you can mine, like. I want to see if you can actually mine. Oh, so no, you can't really mine sandstone that fast. I thought this was like another mining utility, but no. Now we'll do the iron. What is that? Ow. Ow! So we'll test it on spider. Two hits, with, but that was with iron. So we don't. You guys have to find it out. Now it is the knife. Diamond knife. It looks like he holds it like a gun. Which is kind of weird, but. One, two, three. Three hits with the diamond. Now for the crossbow. I actually. Is it shooting or I can't. Do I have bullets for it? Uh, I do not know if I have bullets. For, yeah, they should be right here. I don't know, do I have to like hold it? Oh, there we go. Some somehow shot after like Oh there we go and launch. Oh, it's a battle. Oh god. You know 
You know, we're just gonna switch to the fire torch. Oh my god. Fire torch is pretty sweet. As it lights, I'm on fire. So now we'll do the cannon. Do we like set this up? Oh my god. Look. How do I fire? Please tell me I can fire this thing. Can I like load it? Like, see or something? I don't. How do I load it? Oh my god, I want to use this cannon. I have cannonballs, right? Yeah. There they are, and there's musket rounds, so. You know, we'll just drop some cannonballs into it. <laughs> god, I want to fire this thing so bad. Fire. Fire. No. Whatever. So, now we will use the... I want to use the blowgun. Alright, so there we go. And it, I don't know if, what kind of dart I had. They look poisonous or something. And fire. So there you go. Um, the skeleton is somehow infected. I don't know with what though. Blunderbuss. What is blunderbuss shot? Does these do these guns actually work? I do not know if they work in this mod, but. So, this will probably be it. I'll use a diamond flail, flail to finish it off. Oh my god. Look at this. Oh, you can swing it around. Woo! This is like a killing machine. We go to creative mode, fly away with our battle axe flying behind us. So, here we go. We're going to drop it on a creeper. And does it actually do damage, or do you have to manually whack it? So you actually have to shoot it like a fishing pole. Three hits for a zombie. I think it was two for a creeper. One, two. So yes, it was two for a creeper. Not bad. And launch. Just like I said, guys, I really like this mod. And I hope you guys enjoyed. And I'll see you guys next time.